we went to the break, we were talking with Bob. Who did Adam walk with in the cool of the evening? The Bible said it was God, but was it theophany of Christ? Daryl, your thoughts? Yeah, you know, there's uh, the presence of God walking with Adam and Eve. Now, no man can see God and live, the Bible declares. So it's it's a manifestation of his presence with Adam and Eve. You also read in the book of Genesis chapter 5, Enoch walked with God, and he was then taken up. He was raptured. The very first rapture is found in the Genesis 5 with Enoch as the, the great judgment of the flood was going to come upon the, the world because of its its wickedness and ungodliness and unrighteousness, which we see today. Uh, and thus we're going to have a rapture before the wrath of God is poured out in the tribulation period. So it's important that we realize when we t- use the term walk, uh, God is, His presence is, is with us by the Holy Spirit now as born-again Christians. His presence was with Adam and Eve in the cool of the garden. And that fellowship with God, no, uh, you know, the Jesus said, he says, they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth, for God is spirit. So this is how we, we see this manifestation there in the garden. And that fellowship that God had, a beautiful, loving fellowship that God had with Adam and Eve until they sinned. And they, of course, rebelled against God and gave away planet Earth to Satan, which was the gift of God to Adam and Eve to tend and take care of. And thus they gave it over to Satan in their obedience to him. And now Satan has become the ruler of this world, as Paul declares, and Jesus declared he's the prince of this world. He's the God of this world, little g. And so we see the world in such a mess. This is the world that God created. This is a world that's completely in rebellion against God, and we see it in its fallen state. We have crime and everything else and death and disease. All these things are are manufactured by us because we've rejected God and uh, Satan is ruling. So it is uh, the wars and all the things that take place is all because of our, our, uh, you're the child of the devil or you're a child of God, the Bible declares in 1 John. And the only way not to be a child of the devil is to come to Christ for salvation, to be born again of the Holy Spirit, and then he transforms your life, not only for today, but forever. Mike? Amen. And being about our daddy's business, so important in these days that we're in. You know, again, it's not about us, everyone. It's about Jesus. Thy kingdom come, thy will be Mm -hmm. done. Bob, hope that helps. 